Whether you are installing your door for security or for a screen door upgrade, getting everything to line up just right can be a little tricky. It can be difficult to adjust the security door after you install the included hardware. These bolts come with a tool for tightening them, but they don't come with a tool for loosening them. So I like to install the security door with some screws and washers. This will allow you to get everything lined up just right before you put in the heavy duty bolts. Plus, if you were just using the security door for a solid screen door upgrade, you don't even have to install the included hardware. You can just paint your screws and washers with some almond spray paint to give your project a nice finished look. Security doors can be a great way to add some extra security to your house and they also make really good screen doors. But they can be a little bit tricky to install, so I'll show you how I did this. When I first set this up, the deadbolt was so tight that I couldn't even lock it. But now I got it adjusted right, so this deadbolt locks right up. Wow, that's really nice, look at that. I just locked right up without any effort. So I had to put a couple of shims in here, and I'll show you how I did that. In order to install this door, we're gonna have to flip this around so that the uh, handles match with the handle there, and then the door will swing the right way. These things are reversible, so we can just flip this around like this, And now our door handles are on the same side as the door we're installing it on. Then I got these blocks here that I set up so I can just set this on top of here. And just kind of lining it up there. And eyeball it. I think I should probably get a level. Go grab a level real quick. If you're installing the security door by yourself and you don't have a helper to hold the door, you'll have to use your head. Put a couple of two by fours down here and some half inch MDF. And that didn't work. So you won't have the top lined up here. So it's not hanging down too low. You'll be able to screw it into the frame. All right, so that didn't work. So I changed this. I basically got three two by fours down on the bottom there. And we'll see if that height lines up. Because before it wouldn't line up with the top bar there. So we'll try again. Now I can feel wood up here, so we'll be all right. Now that we got it level, we can put the rest of the screws in.
so this has the holes right here. This is where the hardware is going to go in. So this will face towards the door. This side will face towards the door. See how level it is. All right, so the bottom needs to come out of here. our level. Still looks really level. door installed. Pretty easy. And then if you have some issues you can make some adjustments and then if you decide you want to put the uh, once you get it adjusted like here there's a little bit of a gap here so we may need to uh, put a little bit of a wedge behind there to make it more even. We'll see how it closes when I put the hardware in it may be all right but you can see there's a little bit of a gap here so this may need to come out a little bit may have to put some shims back in there but we'll deal with that tomorrow we'll just go ahead and get a handle on here and secure this for tonight and then uh, we'll take a look at it in the morning and see what else we need to do to it all right so the one with the holes in it will go inside and the one without the holes will go on the outside. And I got this little angled screwdriver here to get in here. All right, now we got it lined up. You can kind of see what you're doing here so you can run those screws in there and get it started. get it as tight as you can with your fingers, you can use a little angle screwdriver. Looks like that's nice and tight. That's nice and easy. Well, that's good. We might not need to adjust anything up there. All right, let's see how the door shuts. We just want to make sure the handle's clear. This looks like it's a little bit above it there, so. Oh yeah, no problem. Ta-da. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Now that's cooling off, we'll be able to open up this door here and let some fresh air in the garage. 
So for the deadbolt, I went ahead and got a quick set lock. So we'll go ahead and put this on there real quick. It says on here up. So we want to go this way with it. Came with some short screws here. We'll go ahead and try them out. They seem pretty good. They fit right in there. the lock. Got a pin here. You see it's got a different shape to it there. So we'll make sure we slide that in the correct way here. Just get that face in the correct direction there. So that we can line it up with this and slide it in. Line that up with the same direction. Kind of move this here so that we can get those screws in. Just slide it in there and get it started by hand. Want to make sure it's threads are going in the right direction so we don't cross thread anything. Once it feels like they're good, we can go ahead and screw it in. Feels like they're going in nice and even. Seems nice and good. We don't want to make it too tight or the deadbolt won't work good. That looks good. Door shuts real nice. See if it locks and unlocks. I had it rekeyed. We'll see how they did. It seems to be working didn't want to lock. There we go. It's unlocked. And that's locked. When I first set this up, the deadbolt was so tight that I couldn't even lock it. But now I got it adjusted right, so this deadbolt locks right up. Yeah, that's really nice. Look at that. That just locked right up without any effort. So I had to put a couple of shims in here, and I'll show you how I did that. So we put a shim up there to push it out. And we put another shim down here to push out the bottom. So this shim up here pushed it out there like that. It kind of had a twist in it. Still a little bit of a twist, you know, we could probably push it out a little bit more compensate for some uh, expansion and contraction. Let's put this right about here so we can cut this. Cut this right about there and put it in there. doesn't have to be pretty, we're not going to see it. Alright, that looks pretty good. Go ahead and screw it back in.
All right, there we go. We'll need to do some painting in here. This is kind of nasty looking, so when we paint that, we can go ahead and uh, paint up these shims too. Flies are getting in here already, so it'd be good to have the security door up. Keep the flies out. Now that we got this adjusted, in the next video, I'll show you what to do about the screws here. We can either go with the hardware that came with it, or we can use our own. The other thing we're going to need to do is to put a threshold in here. We've got a gap down there. And we don't let our cat go outside anymore, so we need to put a threshold down here to keep them from going out. And you also may want to put a threshold down here to keep critters from coming in. So we'll make one out of some 2x4s and I'll show you how to do that. Alright, it locks. If you like security doors, you might want to check out this playlist I got right here.